There is no day passing by without a big advancement for Blender Beam. Hey friends, welcome back. Today I'd like to have a look together at the grouping and filtering functionalities in Blender Beam, which is quite new. Well, we had some selection tools in there. We still have them, but this is an improved version, a consolidated one, which I would guess that it's here to stay because it's quite powerful. I hope you enjoy it. Before I dive in, please let me tell you that I did not go beforehand too deep through this, so it's going to be more like a first experience of this tool. I watched Dion presenting it, but of course I just got an insight on how uh, he is using this tool. When you start using it yourself, you get another feel and you might see some different cases. So let's dive in. Now I have already a model loaded in. So this tool is right here in the main tab in the project overview. When you load in a model, you will get here this tab right here, grouping and filtering, as you can see right here. And we can do more things. There are more options here. We have search, we have color by property and select similar. And we also have groups. Now, let's see what do we have here in search, right? If we expand here, we can see that we have zero saved searches and we can see that actually we can save or export these searches. And I guess maybe we can also load them afterwards. So if I search here, if I add a search group, let's say that what do I want to check? <laughs> Something very nice that I really want to check. Almost every time I'm loading in a model, it's actually to see if I have any building proxies and see if they are justified to be there or if there are just lazy work done by the designer who forgot it or uh, did not or did not manage to assign the right class to the elements. So let's type in I see building element proxy. I think this is the right and let's click on search and see what happens. Oh no, it doesn't work. Oh, I think I see why. Let's see, I used lowercase i. Let's see now. Yes. And we don't have any results. It's a good sign for this model, meaning that it's a quite uh, good quality. Let's search for something else. Do we have any slabs in here? Yes, we have. So it find it. So we know that this is working, right? And we can see that all the slabs have been selected here in the left hand side panel and also here, right? Let's see if we have any beams. I think it will not work if you type in like this. It did actually. And if I click here, we will see that it searches for beam. So that's weird because if I, let's see. So I did not select anything, right? And if I click on search, oh, no. So you actually need to unselect everything before you click on this because it looks like if you keep it and if you search for slab now, it will keep the previous elements in it. So yeah, okay, that's interesting. I learned two things <laughs> here. This is one, it will keep the selected elements. And the other one is that actually you can type in lower cases, everything. But what is interesting, maybe this is a bug then, right? I think it's not working if I type in lowercase i, right, at the beginning. That's interesting. So that's why I think maybe this is a bug. If you want to uh, use the higher case, then I guess we should be consistent. So maybe this is a bug or a small miss that nobody spotted until now. Or I don't know, maybe somebody thought about that. Uh, maybe we can clarify this then. But the good part is that it works. So if you get that error, just use capital I. And then if you type in exactly like in the IFC schema, it will work. Yes, we can see 81 results here at the bottom. We get this information, which actually opens this command line and it tells us 81 results, right? That's pretty neat. So I think this is a very, very useful. You can of course add more things here and we can add even one more filter. Uh, let's see, for example, what properties do they have here? Let's say I want to find PSET lab common with EI 60 value if they all have the same or they have different. What was it? Pset slab common. Is this pset slab common? No. Do I need to type in equals here? I60 was it? Let's see. No. Pset slab common plus expecting plus comma. Okay. I don't know. Maybe this? No. Dot. Expecting dot. That's interesting. Or maybe here is not working. Okay. 
sorry guys, it's too advanced already. I went too deep into it. So let me stick to the simple stuff and then I'll learn about more advanced ones later on. So here we can also have search groups, right? We can say that I want to search for a property, right? But I changed here. I don't want to change that one. I want to change here. What's happening? I just find out another bug. When I'm changing this, what is not a bug? What is this is how it's supposed to be, maybe. It is not supposed to uh, be possible to combine property with uh, classes uh, in these uh, search groups. So, yeah, I will stick to just one for now. But uh, what we can do with this, for example, if you want to save, what is the potential I'm seeing here is that you can actually customize, see what you want to check for, and then you can save these searches that you can reuse afterwards, right? And then you don't need to type in and customize them. You use some time in the beginning to prepare them according to what you need to find in the model, and then you can just export them and do that. Let's say test for now. Let's see what happens. And now, yeah, you can load it. All right. Okay, now this is strange because here you can apply if you want to find a property for specific class and so on. I do not want to get too deep into this and to make this video too long, so I will go further on. But I would love to hear from you. What do you think is the most important thing you could use this feature for? All right, now let's go further on and see this. I think actually this should have been maybe the first one or I don't know, but I guess from all of this, because I just clicked and have a look at them, I think this one is the easiest to use and the most intuitive color by property, right? So when you click on that, you get to see your model, each element colored by each class or other thing you want to choose here. We can see that in this case is class. Now, if we want to say, let's see if it works with type. Let's see if we type in type here. There are different types. But uh, with this right here, it's actually quite cool to see everything. And also, of course, if you have building element proxy, actually this is the shorter version of finding them. It's easier actually to go here and color by property and then to see if you have any building element proxies. And most of the time, unfortunately, we have too many of them. Not in this model, actually. So I guess we are very lucky for that. And we can see that we find IFC slabs, IFC beam, footing, pile, and everything else. Now let's see if I click that and here on predefined on the object type, do I get to choose? No, let's see. Footing object type. I try to grasp how this works. Yeah. Okay. So first you need to select, let's see. So it doesn't have anything to do actually with, oh, why is not finding more slabs? Isn't this a slab? Yes, this is a slab. Is it what we have here then? No, that's weird. Isn't this a slab? Let's have a look. I see slab, floor, and this is also floor, and this is also floor. What is happening here? Is this not working? Name, let's use name instead. If we choose this and name, that's weird. It still did not pick up the other slab, this one. So it looks like even did not really went how I planned. And I will definitely need to use more time and uh, learn, understand how these things are working. But I hope you will get at least one thing from this video. And that would be the fact that these functionalities are now in Blender Beam and you can use it. They are quite easy to use once you use some time and understand how they work. And I promise to come back stronger after I learn better myself how they work. I'm sorry for this debacle. And I really hope that it was not really only wasted time on your side and that you will give it a try and let me know how it goes. Thank you and see you next time.